Welcome back to the channel, everyone. The Santa Maria here, and mm, it's our favorite time of the week. Yes, we've had some fun doing some hauls and all that, but nothing tops weekly candle postman review time. Yes, elves, it's time to review some candles now that we finished some. And of course, we're going to talk about it. But before we do that, everyone, let's take care of a little bit of housekeeping here on this here channel. Elves, you know what time it is. Lipstick of the day, everyone. You all, we are full on fall glam today. I'm giving y'all a power cheek. Get into it. I know, right? It surprised me too. But lipstick of the day, everyone, is MAC Soar Lipstick. As you can see, it's mauve purple tone. We like, it's a matte textured lipstick. And again, it's from the House of MAC Cosmetics. We like that. Fragrance of the day, everyone. Fragrance of the day because your girl was back in the office. So I gotta smell like I'm back in the office. But we like to do it with style, and that no, that is always done with our latest favorite scent this fall. I've been enjoying this one. This is Perfect Intense by Marc Jacobs. This is some good juice. I keep reaching for it. I like it. And it's head elf approved. He likes it. Mmm. Delicious. We like. So, all right, everyone, let's get into the weekly candle post burn reviews for those that are old here, but for those that are new here. Let me give you all the criteria that we do to judge candles. Categories are number one, burn experience. How was the actual burn? Did it suit a whole lot? Was it murky? Was it high flames? Did you have to keep relighting it? Um, Wicks nub out on you? Mushroom? We talk about that in the burn experience part. Category number two, throw on a scale of one to 10. One being scentless wax, 10 being I smell it in my clothes when I leave the house and it's strong. That's okay, AKA the powerhouse scents. And then the last category, the most important category, which is number three, would I repurchase this candle again? And that is a simple yes or no answer. So now that we've gotten the criteria out of the way, let's get into the six candles that we have to review for this week. You know what, we're gonna go ahead and get the obvious strong powerhouse out the gate. You've seen this candle on here before, you're gonna see it again. And that is none other than Bath & Body Works Mahogany Teak with High Intensity. This is an OG version now because it's 2450. Yes, 2450 candles are OGs in my opinion. <laughs> so the notes in Mahogany Teak with High Intensity are an intense version of our classic home fragrance with rich notes of mahogany, Black teak wood, dark oak, and frosted lavender. Yeah, it's mahogany teak wood, but amped up is what it is. Now, get into the inside. Three weeks burned beautifully. Burn experience was amazing. We burned this baby all the way down, and we like that. No issues. Perfectly even burn. What more can you ask for? Throw on a scale of one to ten. Y'all know it's a ten. <sighs> Say less. It's just ten. It's what it is. It's intense. Would I repurchase this again? Y'all know the answer to that. Yeah, because you keep seeing it on the channel. Yes, it's an obvious yes for me. Love it. The next candle we're going to talk about is another Bath & Body Works candle. And this is a fall scent. And this was the Pumpkin Bonfire candle. Yay! Pumpkin Bonfire is still available online while they're doing these different promotions. Some people were able to get it during the buy one, get one. There's currently a 10 off 40 going on right now. So say if you want to snag this one online, you still can. I just have to pub that for my people that are trying to pick up backups and stock up on fall scents because y'all, fall is not in the store really no more. It's like reserved to a corner the way it is in my area. So fall scents, you kind of need to go ahead and get it. That's my opinion. Um, Notes in Pumpkin Bonfire were white pumpkin, a bundle of clove buds, and glowing embers. Honey, this is smoky pumpkin is what it is straight smoky pumpkin burn experience was very rather nice you see this very even burn down not too many burn marks nice and the wax is still pretty much the same color that it started out so it wasn't a dirty burning candle we like that throw on a scale of one to ten this year's pumpkin bonfire was about a seven it gave me my smoky pumpkin goodness that i like but it wasn't Super duper strong, but also wasn't average. So it was a seven. I think that's a safe place to rate this candle. It was good. I enjoy it. Now, would I repurchase this one again? Yes, I would. Last year they brought it out and I fell in love with it. So I had to get one for this season. And yes, I would repurchase this one again. 
it's very nice very very smoky all right the next candle we're gonna do is from the house of candlelight and this is their essential elements line aka aromatherapy to make it plain for the people and this is their wild fig and tobac candle i like i was blessed to receive this as a gift from them they did send me over some candles and i wanted to burn them just to try them out these candles are available in your grocery store so they're real affordable and real accessible that's one thing i do like about them burn experience this did extremely well three wick candle burned all the way down yes this gave me great performance to be a candle that's under ten dollars very nice now okay throw on a scale of one to ten mm. This one, Wild Fig and Tobac, the throw on this one was about a six. So it wasn't the strongest one, but yes, I could smell it, but it wasn't something that knocked me off my feet. And by the way, the notes I was looking for, let me read the notes to you all, are rich plum, apple, and smoky tobacco blend with cedarwood, patchouli, and clove leaf essential oils to help you relax and concentrate. Notes of jasmine, blackcurrant, and sandalwood help you to keep calm and focus. So yeah, the plum note was definitely pronounced. And I love plum as a scent note, obsessed with it. I love it even more in the perfume, love plum notes. Um, you definitely got the little bit of the smoky tobacco, a dash of the cedar wood. Now I didn't get the cloves and the patchouli. I didn't get that, I didn't get the apple. But it still was a pretty candle, very nice. Good aromatherapy scent, very chill. Didn't ruffle any feathers, it did what it needed to do. So was it my favorite candle? No, but it was all right. Would I repurchase this one again for me because it didn't necessarily move me that much? It was nice, it was decent. It's a no for me. One and done, grateful for the experience, but I don't need another wild fig and tobacco. Alrighty everyone, let's get back into Bath and Body Works. And this is the Caramel Brulee Latte scent candle that came out this fall collection. I really love these labels. This was an honorable mention in the best dress category in the superlatives. Yes, check out the video if you haven't already. I'll have it in here linked, of course. And the notes and caramel brulee latte were creamy latte, sweet caramel, a sprinkle of nutmeg. So basically this was a coffee scent. It's a coffee candle. We needed some in the mix because Paris Cafe isn't in the rotation right now. Rumor has it it's coming back, but you know, we'll see until that happens. We'll have to deal. Burn Experience and Camera Brulee Latte. Actually, this did all right. Now, this one was kind of suited though. It did okay, but this suit now, it started to really suit at the end, as you can see on the inside, but I didn't have to keep relighting it or have trouble with the flames or anything like that. It was all right, it was cool, I'll deal. Throw on a scale of one to 10, this was a lovely scent. I give this scent an eight. It was a lovely coffee scent. I enjoyed it. I burned it as a daytime scent to wake me up because I am a coffee drinker. And yeah, this did what it needed to do. Eight, love it. Now would I repurchase this one again? And that is a yes because I love caramel flavored coffee drinks. That's caramel lattes. Caramel macchiatos. I'm a caramel girl. I mean, hello, I am caramel. Get into it. I'm a snack. <laughs> At least I think so on a good day. Just saying. But yes, caramel brulee latte is really good and this is repurchase worthy. So would I rebuy this again? Absolutely. And quite frankly, if they have an extra one at candle day, I could see myself grabbing one. I like it. The next candle was a four ounce candle. They came out of my Vela box. This came out of my October Vela box to be exact. This was from the company Beverly and Third Candle Co. And this was the scent Happy Camper. I burned this baby in my office, single wick. So now let's see here. Burn, ex <laughs> burn experience is a phenomenal burn. It did beautiful. I could light it and get to typing and do what I had to do. Did my thing, y'all. Mm. Ah, I like this scent. It's really good. So this scent, I have the write-up of it on their website. This scent is meant to mimic camping in warmer weather. That's its vibe. So it's supposed to have, like, sweetie. It's supposed to have sweet notes of guava and apple, but you also get cedar stump and a campfire. So that's what's all blended in here and mixed in, and I do agree with the write-up. That's exactly what you get. It's basically summertime camping is what you get in here. Throw on this one was nice. Now it is a four ounce candle and my office is a shoebox size. So it did fill my little shoebox. So scent wise, did it like knock me out? Do I need to blow it out? No. So throw, I would have to give this one a five. 
in that I could smell it, but I know if I put it in a bigger space, I wouldn't be able to smell it. Then again, it is a four ounce candle, which is very, very, very tiny. So I can't expect the world out of this little bitty thing. So throw is a five. Now, would I repurchase this one again? Hmm. The only way I would repurchase this one again is because I did like this scent, but I would need it in a bigger version. And if I'm not mistaken, I think they do have bigger version candles on their website. I have it linked below so you can also check that out. But yeah, as you all know, I got it in my Vela box, which is my monthly subscription that I talk about. Love this stuff. But would I repurchase this one again? Only if it's in a bigger candle. So in this version, for the sake of transparency in this video, no. I would not repurchase it in this four ounce size. It would have to be a bigger one for me to repurchase it. Last candle up, we're gonna end on a strong note and we're gonna end on a love note. Tis the season. And this is none other than from Bath and Body Works White Barn line. And this is Laundry Day. <sighs> for those that have been with me, you know the praises that I sing for Laundry Day. This is the hill I'm willing to die on, that this is one of the absolute best candles, if not the best candle that came out this year. That's what I think. Else, let me know in the comments below, what has been your favorite candle so far that's come out this year? Please let me know. Notes in Laundry Day were fresh air, crisp eucalyptus, soft lavender. Honey, Laundry Day plays no games. But let's get into the other specifications. All right, burn experience. Flawless victory, beautiful wax, beautiful burn, no issues. My baby does that. Throw on a scale of one to 10. Y'all know the answer to this. It's a 10. Strong right now and it's already burned and I'm like, oof, okay. Yeah, girl, you in the room, honey. We see you. Now, would I repurchase this one again? Yes. Right now, you can't find it. It's not online. It's not in store from what I have seen. Else, if you've seen Laundry Day in your stores, please let me know. Rumor has it that it's supposed to be coming back in either Candle Day or after Candle Day, after holiday collections. We'll see what happens with that. As we all know, you never know what we're going to get with Bath & Body Works. Sometimes things might be delayed. Sometimes it is what it is. But regardless, whenever it comes back, I will be getting more laundry day because I am obsessed with this scent. And who doesn't like the smell of fresh laundry? I don't care what time of year it is. This is good. So, all right, elves, that wraps up this year's video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. What candles have you all burned? Tell me. Everything on my face, as always, will be in the description box. You don't have to question it. And everything I talk about is already linked or be in the description box as, you know. But we do here. It ain't hard. Just scroll down there and check it out. But until next time, elves, bye, y'all.